Good morning all, it is Justin from Basic Links Painting, or otherwise known as the BMP. I hope you're all doing very, very well on this lovely, sunny, beautiful, very cold day in here in England. Right, um, in today's video we're going to be looking at this. Now this is the Black Powder 2nd Edition. This is pound fifty, but it is the, if you can just read it there, the Gentleman's Catalogue to armies of the Napoleonic period. So we're going to have a look through that. Um, but before we do, um, my giveaway video, um, which is going up tomorrow, is going to be going up Monday. Okay, so that's Monday the, Monday the 5th. And that's because I have the day off work Monday. So I'm going to be filming it that day. Okay, so cool. So you've got an extra couple of days to enter. The video will be down in the description below, so just click the link, watch the video, like, comment, subscribe, all that sort of jazz. And so yes, thank you very much. But now we'll, we will look at, as, as it, it is, Nick Stephen said, Napoleonic Friday, or Historical Friday, shall I call it. So we'll have a look at this, which I think is really, really, really cool. So this I got free with um, the latest edition of War Games Illustrated. So... We'll have a look. See you in a minute. Right. Hello. Here we have the catalogue, which I think is quite cool. I've flicked through this several times. And as you can see, it's £1.50 or $2.50 if you can buy it from America. It is Wall or Games. That's the front. That's the back. It tells you all about the mail order number, the address, the websites. And so yeah, so and it tells you a little bit at the top there. It says uh, the Black Powder game covers periods from the 18th century through to the early days of the 20th century, dominating this time are the wars and battles throughout Europe that were to become known as the at, as the Napoleonic period. This catalogue presents a great selection of the models, books, and hobby materials available from Warlord Games that will help you to recreate and reflect battles from this period. Right, first page. I'll have a quick look through each page. Now, the very first page you get is the rule books. And each rule book tells you the price. So, I'll just bring it up a little bit so you can see £22 in English or $35. But in each book, it you get free figure, a free model. So, Albion Triumphant is volume one, Albion Triumphant volume two, get figure. So, Clash of Eagles, and Napoleon's Wars Before Battle of Waterloo. So there's the Battle of Slomensk, Borodino. And you get Rebellion, which is the American War of Independence. You've got the American Civil War, Blood on the Nile, and the Zulu campaign. And it tells you there as well, you've got Black Powder, Volume 2, you get Lovely Figure, which is um, Lucky... Captain, uh, what's his name? John, John Lucky or something, from the Master and Commander film, played by Russell Crowe. Told you there, you get Black Pay to start a set, seventy dollars, uh, seventy pound, and what you get, all in there. So that's page one. Napoleonic British. There you go. Try and give me a good look. Um, just as your colonels, British Mounted Infantry. Hanoverian commands, the British Line Infantry, the prices are all there. So, a little box you got to take if you ever do go online, just put in that number. And then you got Sharps Chosen, played by Sean Bean in the TV series Sharp. The 95th Rifles, you've got there, you've got the um, Highland Regiment. This is all from the Napoleonic era. You've got the Highlanders. I've got two boxes of these already. Late Hanoverian, got coming soon. And I've just bought that box, which... No, not so, not that box, this box. Just bought that box. So you've got that. And then you got the British Starter Army for the Waterloo Campaign. Very good value for money, £85. But if you go on the Goblin Gamer link, which is down there, 20% off. Um, 
Then you got the Star Rome for the Peninsula campaign, and all you got the more figures down there, and you've even got the artillery. So you got the Royal Horse Artillery, all British Rocketeer, Bombarding Frame. So all there. You've got Napoleonic French. So you've got French Old Guard Grenadiers, French Line Infantry, Late French, Late French Infantry after 1812. So slightly different. And you've got the French Hussars, the Polish Light, Polish Line Light Horse Lancers, French Chasseurs Cheval, the Polyotic French Line Lancers, and Napoleon's Berlin Carriage with Napoleon. Looking all fancy. And you've got more you've got the French Imperial Guard sappers, you've got the drummers, you got the band as well, which is very, very different. Um, you've got French engineers, <coughs> excuse me. Um, French chasseurs, Imperial Guard Command. You've got the Marines, Marines of the Guard, you've got cannons, this is all French still. You've got um, Baron Larry's French Ambulance. So, and you've got French Starter Army, <coughs> excuse me, for the Peninsula Campaign, French Starter Army for the Waterloo Campaign. And you've got this box set, La Haye Saint, £210. But, like I said, if you go to the Goblin Gaming website, follow the link down below, 20% off, and that's all you want to get inside, all that lot. And you have, next page, big, nice poster. So I'll just pull this back a little bit and lift it up. You can see, lovely double page poster. You've got, let's bring it down again. There you go, sorry about the change of camera angle. You've got Napoleonic Russian Command, you've got Russian Regiments, this is all the Russians now, Napoleonic Russians you can see just there. <coughs> Russian Line Infantry, Russian Line Infantry after 1812, oops, I've just tore it, as you can see. Um, Russian Pavlovsk, sorry if I've just ruined that, Grenadiers. Russia starter army there. All the prices are still all marked there in the codes and everything. You got the Napoleonic Portuguese. And you got the Portuguese, Portuguese officer, again, all the cannons and the artillery. You got the Prussians, which is what I'm painting at the moment. Got the Landwehr Regiment, um, Pike and Musket, Casualty Figures, Prussian Jaegers, you got Bulcher, oh, I'll just move it down, there you go, sorry, Bulcher, I won't even try and pronounce that, and von Zieten, all the generals. And you've got paint sets. This is what I was telling you in the last, in one of the previous videos. Napoleonic Wars paint set. And you even get one for the French as well. And they got the flag finials. <coughs> and a Russian paint set. You've got gaming mats. Buildings as well. Waterloo. Plano. Chart, Plano. Oh, my French is not good. Look, you've got buildings. And you get more... Um, sets you get the sets from the American War of Independence, the French Indian War, Anglo Zulu War, and I've literally got that and the British Line Infantry from my stepdaughter for my birthday. So they'll be paint be painted soon. I have painted already British Line Infantry, uh, the regiment. I've got a set of them as well, Continental Army Infantry Regiment. Um, and you got the War of Spanish Succession, Malva's Wars, and this is the showcase. 
of what people have um, painted. So we'll just have a look at that. These are all the kits you can buy from the actual... And that is the book. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's just, like I said, it's just a really quick flick through of this little catalogue, which I think is really, really good for anyone wanting to start Napoleonics, and but they don't know what where to go or what armour to choose. Get this. Like I said, you get this free in the latest issue of War Games Illustrated. So, yes, thank you very much for watching. Um, I've been the BMP. You've been fantastic. Don't forget, you've got until Monday to enter the video. When you do enter, you've got to be subscribed um, and put a comment. I'll tick and press the little heart button to say I've read it, but I won't answer it because I don't want my comments entered into the giveaway video. So I shall see you Monday for the giveaway video. Bye!